I mean, what are we going to be seeing here, maps-wise? Because mm. that's, that's going to be very cool. interesting. Um, I'm not that much into the meta game of these two teams. Actually, we haven't been practicing that much against these two specific teams. But I know that both of them like the, to, to play those two. And actually, that Vito, uh, uh, it's going to be Mirage. Pretty yeah. much similar straight away. And we are in the knife round here. And the same map as we saw last round. So let's see if we have anything which is like different texture wise or anything. Um, at least we can see that LDLC is going to get the entry in this round. And uh, nothing like spectacular or crazy is happening in this knife round. We're just jumping a bit around. Yeah, <laughs> they're just jumping around. <laughs> I love it. It's like playing Prince of Persia or something right now, <laughs> just jumping around. It's like, uh, what is that game when you're, um, it's like hot lava or something. You, have to yeah. play, you can't touch the ground. I know what you mean. Or you die. <laughs> yeah. That's what's going on right now. But it looks like Crims has to do a one on five. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Flawless <laughs> knife round. I don't know. I didn't think that there would be that big a skill gap in, in knifing skills. But yeah. nonetheless, you see that. LDLC winning the knife round right now discussing which side, they, which side they're going to stay on and uh, so far they haven't told us so we're just waiting for them to, to discuss and probably Happy just asking around for his players like wi which side do you feel the most confident on? It's going to be CT right? I mean, Most likely but sometimes some team just have some crazy T side and they're like we pick T now because we're very good at it. Like it can be some kind of a surprise to the opponent. So we go in and we win the pistol round. We win the first round and it's already going to look very bad for the opponent. So sometimes you can do that if you feel very confident. But if you do that and you lose the rounds, HLCB will go mad on you. <laughs> like, why did you pick the bad side? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. so like, it's kind of a gamble, but it could work out. And we actually see Pipe, I'm going to call him now, playing uh, this game. So that means that Dennis is not going to play today. And um, if he can keep up the form from yesterday, he's going to be able to bring a lot to the team. Like, even if they're not going to be able to do strategies, you can just see that he's going to have raw aim. All right. So, looks like we're kicking things off, and Team Global will find themselves on the terrorist side as LDLC find themselves on the counter terrorist side. And here we go. We're kicking things off on the knife round. And looks like we have a load of Team Global players over on the A slope area. And Looks like things are going to be hotting up on the A-bomb site very shortly. And LDLC have quite a spread for their defense here. And here are the nades, it looks like, as we see right now. There we go. They should have the nades over for connector, over for CT spawn. Nothing on CT spawn. Happy sniping away with that USP. Wonderful stuff there. And look at that falling back. His teammates coming to help him. But oh, Happy again. Can he get any more? He what? gets oh, so many kills. Almost the ace. Happy is just going insane. LDLC. Or ha just Happy. I mean, Happy made that round ha happen for them. But Pyth is the last man standing. Maniac will take him down. But what a round from Happy. That was immense. Actually, he got the guy who was behind the yeah. guy that he was aiming for. That was just a crazy round by Happy. And a very great start from LDLC. Like, what a beginning from Happy. That was just immense. I love that. And that's going in the highlight reel. It, yeah, it is for sure. Like, what a surprise. Like, I didn't expect him to take down that many players. And the silenced pistol actually somehow seemed to work because Happy got a kill and he was hiding in the corner and his opponent decided not to check in that corner afterwards so kind of surprised with that, uh, with that they, had a, they had a choice where to throw that one smoke I guess they're going to regret not throwing it yeah. down to see the spawn but it's going to be that first round there for Team LDLC and we see of course uh, there are a couple of rifles coming out a couple of M4A4s and Maniac with an M4A1S and a couple of Famuses so you know a lot of rifles coming in here Maniac Gonna lock down the apartments as the A bomb site is compromised, but it's okay because LDLC they're doing this right. Twist though, is he gonna start something here? It's like a very interesting strategy to just tell Pi, hello, you are our stand in for this game. Please go out and suicide in B so we're gonna be able to do a small <laughs> fake and yeah. get the bump land nade. But somehow it worked because Happy was alone on A in this situation, so they're actually giving away a bump land, not only the first but the second. So we're going to see a lot of money on the board here from from uh, Team Global, and they're going to be able to buy everything they want to. I do like that. It's like, hey, new guy, yeah. <laughs> go over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's our routine. Every time we get something new in, he's just going to be the suicide guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take one for the team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Prove your loyalty. But here we go. Again, setting up those smoke grenades there yeah. uh, towards, towards, towards middle. Mid yeah, exactly. They're just going to try to work this middle control. We saw it a little in the last game, but not that much actually. None of the teams really pushing it too much. Whoa. 
Twitch with the orb, he uh, gonna... I think he hit Uzi or, or what? He must have done. It looked like it was on him, so it must have clipped him through the wall. Yeah. And Twitch there, lovely shot onto Kaylee. And this is a brilliant start to the round where their mid control is uncontested as well as apartments. Pyth will find himself at the mercy of Apex, though. And it's a four on three situation. And what are Team Global looking to do here? Looks like they're setting up for B. Yeah, like, and Uzi is going to be very exposed. But actually, he got rotation coming in from his teammate onto the B bump side here. So he's not going to be all alone, and it seems like Team Global is actually going to get catched by this uh, stack by uh, by LDLC. So not a bad position because Apex is here to help, as you can see there. Apex is just going to take the first contact and hide, and then it's going to be all up to Uzi. So let's see here. Going to get one, and then he's going to hide. Apex starting off with one, looking for more, gets the second as well, and they are just stuck. Like they are trying to wade in quicksand right there on the B bomb site before finally being freed by some great kills coming in from Twist and Crims. Now it's all unhappy from Kitchen in a one on two. It is quite doable, but it's surely no easy task as he just gets smoked off there. Very unfortunate, but he makes his way through and around. There's the first man, he gets him. Twist falling. Happy now. One oh way is my god. Amazing stuff there from Happy. What is going on? Happy on this first <laughs> half. It's only been three rounds, but Happy has made those three rounds, rounds to remember. There was some... I saw Ice Cold, like, just walking around, banging one guy through the Fs, and then he's just like, okay, where could the last guy possibly be? What did you just say? Oh, yeah, oh, it, was a, it was a B word again. We're not going to use that word you anymore. You stop talking about people banging each other, man. They're not doing that. They're wall PG, PG stream. What do we say? Wall bang. Is, is wall bang allowed? Yeah. Okay, he's wall banging one guy in the B apps, and then he's just... <laughs> where could the last guy be? I'm guessing behind the bench, and he's just buying a, a small <laughs> spray with, like, five bullets, and he's going to get him. A coolie entering back now <laughs> with a very nice off kill onto Trist. Tristan was pretty much the man opening up the whole game last round by first getting the entry onto the middle in Cooley and then he walked to BFs and got another one. So Tristan was pretty much MVP of the first weapon round. Definitely is. They're already losing Twist again. <laughs> again, uh, Twist with those aggressive plays. This time it didn't go quite according to plan. Apex holding down the A bomb slide from stairs there. And Team Global are trying to get some kind of foothold and they're trying to get some kind of position or some kind of map control, but it just doesn't seem to really be coming at this point and there's just three of them left so what is what is the plan now the plan is just to try and work some ground here and they need to get a kill before committing to anything because no matter what they're going to be in a pretty bad position you see that one guy is flanking in the middle area and then they have two guys who's just holding pretty passively towards a but they need to get a kill before committing at least they need to draw attention so the middle guy can open up onto coolie and let's see what's going to happen here all of mice are just holding very passive here, waiting for any C2 to step a bit too far out. Coolie's gonna answer back, and now Coolie's gonna get another one. He's on fire in this round. There goes Pipe, though. He's gonna get himself a kill. Make that two. Make that maybe three. No, not quite. Pipe will fall, but either way, it would have been a pretty hopeless round. And yeah. Team Global, they aren't really able to accomplish much so far. I mean, what do you really attri attribute that to? Like, they have just been losing some kind of unlucky rounds. I mean, like, Happy has just been destroying the most important round for, for Team Global, like, just stepping up huge and getting four kills in the pistol, and that one on two was just amazing, so... He pretty much put down the whole game onto his own hands right now, and Kuli also stepping up, he's a bit too aggressive with Mitchell, and taking a lot of damage here. Bagger coming in pretty quickly here, though, but... Is it gonna be a tough round for LDLC when it should be? That's the question. And they're just trying to take picks across the map here, just made some pot shots over towards middle. Uzi, though, might be getting a bit too close to comfort as they arrive around the corner, but Apex is there to keep him alive. Apex from Connector. Look at this action going on right now. Switch to the pistol as the side is sent flying. It's going to be another round for the Frenchies. Team LDLC with a quick 5 0. Yeah, they're looking pretty goddamn strong so far. Like keep up this play and it's going to be very hard for Global to do anything because if Cooley can control this middle area then it's going to be hard to set up the split split pushes and so on. At least they need to like throw smokes towards the window and so on. But you can see LDLC taking initiatives now. Apex is going to push up towards the middle. So that smoke is not going to do anything bad for LDLC. Oh nice, nice pushing here but Twist, he anticipated this yeah. and that was very well done there. He's going to get himself a kill. This puts Team LDLC in a very awkward position. They did get a lot of information there, though. But Team Global can really play strongly with this. And they're going to attack into A. Sype will take down Happy. But the bomb is going towards B. 
And this is going to go completely over all these LDLC's heads. They are just thinking it's got to be A. And the bomb is actually rotating back to A. It's going to be... Now they're going back to B. They cannot decide what to do. Oh, like, no. That opening was just too huge to be expected from, from Team Global. So now it's going to be a 2 and 5 situation. And pretty much no matter where they're going to go, they have to win this yeah. round. I mean, they, they cannot step, uh, put a foot wrong no. at the, in this round now. And almost getting both players, Uzi, put down to a measly 14 points of health. And things just get worse from here. I like I like that he didn't buy head armor. Though. <laughs> but that round was like kind of crazy. Like The idea from Team Global is that mm. you send two guys up towards the A-bump side. And their only task is just to get as many people down as possible. They take down one each, and the A bump side is now completely open. The three guys in B are like, wait, this means that we have the A bump side. So should we rotate back, or should we just hope that they are not going to do something weird in B or anything? And it was like kind of not decided. So they yeah. went back to A and went back to B. But nonetheless, they got the round, and just great opening kills all of the ball from Team Global. <laughs> It is one of those situations where it's like, guys, you've got to provide a distraction. I didn't yeah. mean kill all of them. <laughs> I mean a distraction. It's just, but Team Global, it doesn't matter what they do. They are just beasts individually. And look at this, Happy. He's on the angle. Pipe is going to feel his rough. And there's that second as well. Sipe goes down too to Happy. As Happy makes himself just, I don't know, a collection of terrorist bodies mounting up in mid. And... Kaylee going to get one there as well. So now Olaf and Crimson are left. And the round has already just kind of been dissected. There's not much left for them to really put together at this point. No, exactly. Like, again, Happy just pretty much winning a round on his own in this situation. And pretty much it's going to be left up to all of Mighty. And Happy's going to get another kill in this round. And he's pushing for more. He's going to miss an scope. And it's now Olaf to Crimson. He's pushing for more. He's slowly aiming here. But he's not going to connect so far. LDLC players just want to take him down very quickly, and that is going to happen also. Uzi getting him, uh, <coughs> getting him with the FAMAS. And You're right <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Nearly dying in this situation. <laughs> That's okay, we can replace yeah, those. Okay. Swap, one over swap. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't die on the show, that's not cool. <laughs> that ain't cool. No, but six to one now, so LDLC are continuing to push this with these advantages, and we're going to see the grenades going up and over here into mid. Look at this. Perfection. perfection. Totally perfection by, uh, by Crimson in this situation. And Cooley is still going to work. Some ground in the middle. And they're pushing very aggressive. You can take the water on scope. Oh, and a third one is going on. Kaylee's just going insane in this game. What is happening? Oh and my god. He gets taken down. But my god, <laughs> Kaylee going massive. <laughs> that guy is just crazy. What is happening? That close orbing is just amazing. It's Something you can do in matchmaking or something when people are uncoordinated, but that control of the orb is just immense. That's such a good play by Cooley. And yeah, him and Happy is just controlling the map with the orbs right now. Happy, you saw him last round in short, getting three kills. Cooley this round with four. And Team Global are in a very bad position, having <laughs> to deal with being down seven mm. to one. It is like he's playing deathmatch or something. Yeah, exactly. But lining up for Apex there, but no, they're going to come in from underpass, and that's going to put a very frowny face there onto Apex. But again, Kaylee's got the cover, man. He just cannot do anything wrong at this point. And it's, it's as if Kaylee's just, you know, he's playing deathmatch right now, and he yeah. forgot that he's actually playing a real game when stuff like that's not supposed to be possible. He's that's probably gone out and put some, on, put on, put some music on and just run yeah. around, <laughs> turn down the in-game volume and just show that he's a beast. Like, pretty much LDLC round so far, it's just been individual performances all over the board. Like, they're just helping out each other. It's not like it's only one guy, but they're just shrubbing around and stepping up when it's needed. And they're still going to contest him around this middle area. And you, s you said also when you were doing the lineups that Kaylee is a, it's to be an, an extremely feared Orpa, yeah. and I, I don't know if he has a reputation yet, but he is sure as hell getting it. Olaf Meister, is, he actually takes down Maniac. They are going to find their entry to the site. Or will they? Kaylee up to his usual tricks with the Orp. He is going to get taken down. Pipe, his precision unrivaled as he gets the second player. More flooding in from short as Happy turns the corner with his AWP here. Come his friends as well, or rather his single lone friend. As he has Uzi to back him up, but things are going to be tough from here on out. There is Sight taking the jewel. He's going to get the headshot onto Uzi. It's just happy left, and he's going to go for the save. Smart move, but wow. 
there. Team Global really stepped up to take the side there. You must say that entry by Olaf Meister, very aggressive with the orb, sneaking through the smoke yeah, there. <laughs> entry frag at the orb. They go, yeah. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, that's some, something you can only do if you're like having a lot of confidence. And Olaf yes. sure has that because he's just an insanely good player. And That's like the thing of Team Global, right? Every single player is just super confident yeah, exactly. in, in their individual skills. Just so confident. Exactly. Like, it's not something any player can just do, like sneak through the smoke and just kill someone with a scope. Like, just crazy. And 8 to 2 is the scoreline right now. And. LDLC is just looking to be a bit more passive in this round, and Cool is once again he smoked off in the middle area. They're trying to like deny him all these kills, and all Whoa. of them are just rotating around with the orb. He's gonna get Cool this time, and the thing you have to point out from that is, they know that when they smoke off the middle window, Cooley has to rotate around, and that's why all of Master is waiting in the A apartments or palace, whatever you want to call it, and he's holding this very tight angle towards the jungle area, and he's gonna catch Cooley. So it's just. It doesn't seem like it's tactical play, but it's actually baiting out with the smoke. So very nice play. And Sype now, he feels committed to make the move in. Happy coming out huge with the AWP now as well. Crims though, gonna drop him where he stands. Maniac as well to feel the pain as Apex comes in to try to deal some damage. He gets the bomb down, can't get the second though. And now, Twist is put to a one versus one against Uzi coming from Kitchen. But he doesn't know that just yet, and Uzi creeps in. He's got the advantage, the upper hand here is Twist. He's going to get caught in the back, and there it is. Uzi takes another round for LDLC. And picks up the AWP, which could be very crucial, because as you can see on the money here, it's very low on money, the team, and that means that they just they need to save the AWP if they want to keep it in, in the game right now. So that is what he's going to do, and you're going to see the double AWP once again on Mirage. Pretty interesting strategy from, from LDLC, not something we are very used to see. And Kaylee, he's going to have some company right here, and misses the first shot, but he gets the info. He saw, saw two players jumping across, he's going to call out to his team. He's going to go in for another one, a quick one before the smoke comes out, but still it is anti-eco, so... Oh, twist! I don't think so, <laughs> says Maniac. Ain't gonna happen, bro. <laughs> there you go. So, talk us through yeah. L what uh, Team Global really needs to be doing here. Where can they find an, an advantage against Team LDLC? I think they need to be playing a bit slower than they are right now. Like, it's fine that they're smoking off pretty much every position, but they're just still gonna get caught in different angles. Like, I think last round was pretty unlucky to lose and ended up being in a one on one situation. So, they got some nice entries and. Yeah, I don't know. They need to maybe get an orb on, on Olaf again because he's been getting entries in the round of Kenneth. So actually, they look to have been changed in this <laughs> round, but Cyber's gonna do the team kill. Oh god, he does not what you want on the eco. But Olaf, he is rocking an M4 right now, so let's see yeah. what Olaf, Olaf can actually accomplish with that one. He's on B. There he is, he's getting the bomb planet. Actually, he's oh, no, oh no, he didn't get it down. Nice play by Maniac. I thought for sure he was able to get it down there, but it's going to be another round for Team LDLC. Exactly. As they go 10 to 2 on the scoreboard, and we move closer and closer to the end of the first half. And Saif demonstrating how fast the round can go from a 3 and 3 to a 3 and 1 situation. They're very unlucky by him, and he needs to only have a pistol in this round because it made the team kill, which is it's gonna hurt on his bank box. Let's just say it that way. And those smokes, like being able to throw those smokes to mid through s from spawn. Very, very crucial. You deny any opportunities. And look at this. Those smokes, carpet bombing. Mid allows him to go through connector. But to meet who? It's Kaylee. Opens up with a couple of frags. Pi finally pushes through, punches a hole through the jungle there. Apex though coming in from CT spawn. What can he get done? Crims gonna watch out for the flames. And he's on six health. It's not gonna happen. LDLC, they're just unstoppable, man. It's just insane. It's pretty much textbook play by them, like. They are showing how the double orb works, like using the distance and even if like Team Global are trying to prevent that with the smokes and so on, they're just hitting the close combat orb shots and they're having the backup from the teammates. So this overall pretty decent team play from LDLC coming into this game. It is very impressive to say the least. I think it's the same strategy as last time, even if it's the eco, like something about these three guys on A who needs to Force distraction and no, the bomb is rotating back now. I don't really know what the plan is, but it seems like they're just getting crushed in this round. I like that kind of triple stack in 
connector <laughs> that we saw from somebody else here. It's very interesting there. Just all got, you know, just like a triangle yeah. there, and they have all have each other's backs. So wonderful stuff. And there's the next one, and Kaylee's going to take it with open arms. 12 to 2 is the last round of the first half, and it is looking like a shocking, shocking side for Team Global. They were only able to so far bring it to two rounds for their side. That's... That is that is not much to work with going into the second half. You can it's almost an open and closed book affair before we even get to the second half. Exactly, and we see once again the smoke is gonna be do you wanna see the middle area here? If I can get down in the room, you can see. And you see there. it's gonna be he smoked off and that is gonna force a rotation once again through this area. And that is where Glo um all of us last time waiting. You can see Cool is a bit more aware this time. I'm gonna look up here, but he's not gonna be up there this time. But he's waiting, and let's see if he's going to connect with the first guy coming into Apps here, which is Crims. The timing is good from Global this time, though. And they might actually make this happen. They do punch hole through the site. Shadow is dropped as well, and now they're getting killed by that AWP from Happy. The bomb gets dropped, finally picked up by Pipe. He's going to get the plant, and it's a 2-on-2. Two -two. And they have a very good situation here for this 2-on-2. Two -two. Still a lot of nades getting chucked around, and Happy might might be thinking of dropping out for a rifle to give him some more mobility, but Maniac gonna take down one. It's just Crims who remains on the bomb boxes. They know exactly where he is. There's one from the side, and Happy's gonna get it through that box. Well played to Happy, and what a half from LDLC. And Happy, Shenzi kills, four deaths, just yes. showing crazy play. Also getting three or four kills in that last round, and he just seems unstoppable at this moment. Like, Happy's just such a good player. I, I called it in, in the early part of uh, the preview of this game that he's yeah. one of the in-game leaders who's just able to shoot a lot of people. And he pretty much shows <laughs> that he's able to do that. And it's, it's funny as well because it almost... I mean, I have these shots from Katie burned into, into my brain. Yeah. And Happy as well. I mean, it's just... Wait, this other guy is actually the top fragger. He's exactly. the guy that you should be watching out for. And here we can see, of course, the pistol around the second half. This is the, this is where redemption can be found for Team Global. But look at this setup. Indeed, we have two over at B apartments, three on the A side. They're just playing incredibly passively. Perhaps going for that fake. Maniac has a lot of nades. And uh, here we go. One guy is out on A now, and that is Heavy. And Heavy is just again, it's the same strategy as Global. Forced distraction. And they see that he's out inside, but they already understand that this is what is going on. But the bomb yep. is staying here. It's a kind of interesting double fake here coming in. Actually, very interesting. They are getting completely fooled here, and the bomb site is now open. Nice shot. Bit slow on the push there onto the A bomb site. And Happy gonna lock down CD spawn, but here they come in now from Connector. And there's one over on the CT spawn side as well, coming through Kitchen. Happy to eliminate him though. And it now it's just on Pyth. He's one or two. He's, ha he's done worse. And there it is. He's going to get knocked down. And yeah, I mean, it's very much, very like telling that we saw all the nades on Maniac who was over at B House there. That round was so crazy. Like, they sent Happy alone into the A bump side. And he's just waiting all alone, just trying to force, like, very stupid distraction, like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> and then they're like, this is a completely obvious fake. So they're deciding to all rotate towards B through different angles. And then the bump stays in A, and they're sh completely going to catch them off guard. They're very nice strategical play coming from the DLC, and a nice set from Happy. This guy's just insane. He's doing really well. There's the 5-7 love from Crims. And Pyth now coming in. He's going to be very wary of this, because they, they know that... They know that there are players lurking near connector, and it's just a case of finding them. True, true, true. And as you can see here, they're just actually down three against four, but and both weapons are being picked up by Global, so they could potentially go and win this round. Uzi is in a bad position because he's going to get caught, and also Uzi is going to get taken down. So both Cooley and Uzi is now taken down, and it's left all up to the MVP so far of this game, Happy. And he doesn't have the bomb, so he's having one hell of a task to... That was not the the best NCE eco coming in from LDLC. We were just like s approving their strategic play in the gun round and then throwing the whole the whole thing away in this round. But so far, it doesn't matter too much. Le they're leading 14 to three. They have a lot of rounds, to, uh, like a huge buffer to play with. They can do whatever they want. It yeah. can be as stupid as they want. It can just be as ridiculous as they want. It doesn't matter. The unpredictable stuff is going to be the hardest to deal with for Team Global. And here they go, so charging in. 
onto that A bomb site. I don't know if they're going to be able to make the plant happen here. Only managing to take down Twist so far. Crims will fall as well. Three on three now. But they still don't have any weapons. This is a problem. Olaf and Pipe to shut him down. Snipe with the last one. Good clean up there. And Team Global with another round. <laughs> they can't afford to lose any rounds though. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. But they're just going to do another EQ round. Actually they invested pretty much everything they had in the last round. Just trying to win it quickly. But now they just need to slow down and just say, okay, we're going to lose one maybe two rounds now where we're echoing and then we're going to be back to full focus. Twist. Bit of warp action coming out from him and this maybe the next one. Oh, what is this? <laughs> from Ladder Room, he's going to get dropped there. That is, that's a pretty big deal. They have an orb in the hands of Apex now and it's just Apex and Maniac alive. And what are they, what is the game plan here? Apex have never been known for being a very strong orb, but yeah. let's see what he can do in this round. Like, they're just both falling back now. They want to give Maniac some, uh, not Maniac, Apex, some time to just work with this orb. They're not going to like overcommit or let him stay in a bad position with the orb. So they're just going to wait for some decent amount of time and then they're going to let Apex work towards getting this entry. And if he's going to try to look for the entry in mid, Olaf is in pretty much the greatest position ever because no one is going to aim up there. Like You're going to aim down and that means that Olaf has like the moment of surprise in this situation. So a nice position by Olaf, and you can only have this position if you know that your teammates is holding close here. Mm. It's. I guess it would be great if they could just save this up as well. Just give it to Kaylee or Happy next round, and you're you're laughing. That's true, but then they won't get any money, so that's like kind of problematic. That's, it's like that's a good, good point. Yeah. Like they have to. Y you could do it, and but most likely they're not going to do it. It seems like they're just working towards this B bump side. He's going to get one, and he's going to get two, and he's going to take the orb now and deliver it to Tristan this in the next round. And interesting to know, just like fact base right now, is that both teams are doing double orb setups at CT. So actually, it's something which is apparently, yeah, apparently it's working out for both teams. It's just like not something which is like surprisingly because orbs can just be very effective in this game if they're used correctly. And you need to have two guys who's also able to handle them. I mean, it's not every team has that. And nice. Tristan do the smoke. Taking down Kaylee, and they're now going to drop away this orb. Things going quite well at the start of this round for Team Global. And Crimson, look at this angle, he's going to spot another one. Ooh, he might just catch Is he? No, not quite. But he does call to his teammate Pyth exactly where he is, and they take over mid. That's a big result there for Team Global, as only three players are left standing for LDLC, and they've been cut off from each other. Yeah, and so far just very decent work coming in from Team Global. And they do not seem like the team who is behind 14 to 6 right now. Like, they're showing pretty much decent aim and good positioning in these rounds and great communication. So, I don't think they're going to be able to pull up the whole comeback, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to get at least 10 rounds. Certainly, it's definitely a team that can be explosive. They don't, again, they, they don't tend to feel pressure that much. So, even if they look at the scoreline, it's it's a team that can deal with it well. Yeah. We're going to see LDLC making the push through uh, a house. It's not going to go well to start with. This he will get a kill on the crims, but I don't expect much from this. He's going to try to play into the smoke, which is very clever because he's too exposed to play for CT spawn, and it's going to work out perfectly. And the double spray down is nearly happening for Puth here, but so far not going to happen. He's just under him and a jump down from Pyth, and he's going to get him. But there the bump plan, like, it's very important. If, if Kaylee wants to have an orb, that's going to be pretty effective. You can see a lot of money coming in for, for LDLC in this situation, so they can decide if Kaylee needs an orb or not. He's actually so far going for the rifle, so this tells me instantly that they need to go for a strategy or something where he cannot use the orb. So let's see what they're going to do in this situation. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to go straight for the A push, and then you do not want an orb if you need to go up and clear, like, close areas. So. Kaylee gonna help out with the smoke here, and let's see if I can control it here. Got to get those smokes on CD Sport and Connector, and see if they're gonna be able to do just that. As uh, anticipate the smokes coming in here, there they go. Smoke Connector, smoke on the site. Good enough, good enough. That should do the job. They should be able to get the bomb down with that. But that Molotov, very, very well timed from Team Global as LDLC take over the site, but. And they're planning in a very good position for Smoke. So this means that they can have very passive afterplan positions and Happy is going to take down the frame from Olaf. And Twist is very aggressive on top of this box. I didn't even see if he got that. He's actually going to attack him, but he's not going to kill him so far. 
and it seems to be Whoa. wow. The precision from Twist is just insane. And Maniac stands there next to the limp body of his teammates trying to make something happen. He's going to get a couple, but it's up to Happy. One on two gets the first one and the Curious. second as well to save the round. Put it to 15 to 7. And again, Happy Man, he's just coming out with insane plays. Both halves. This guy is so good. He, did you say he was an in-game leader? What? Yeah, like, look, look at the scoreboard. And you say, this guy's in-game leader, and he's having 27 kills. Nine he's, just, he's just immense, like. And zero of those are assists. So yeah. It's just it's ice cold, only headshots. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Kelly going on to twist. That's a, that, is, that is very... That's hard. That's hard to deal with. It is down 15 to 7, and they already lost a man in the very important round here. Yeah. And all of his super aggressive in the apartment, and Happy just needs to take this kill, and it seems like he's going to go for it. Nice. All of working those angles with the all very nice play by him, but they're sneaking up towards the A slope here. One guy's very close. And that is Crims. Jumping through the smoke here. But it's just not coordinated. Like, if you need to jump through the smoke, you need to do it together because LC is gonna fix the recoil and he's gonna get two easy kills, and that is exactly what he's gonna do there. So they needed to do that more together, but he's gonna suicide through the smoke here. <laughs> here goes Kaylee. There's number one onto Crims. And although still in that apartment, trying to just see what he can get. And I do really love how when Twist was taken down at the start in middle, that the way that they reacted was to push Olof in apartments because they have to take a risk now because they have to cover more angles. So they yeah. have to eliminate one possibility for sure. And that's exactly what he did by having to take that risk to push in was about. And KD is looking at this angle. Now, can they make this happen? We saw crazier things from both these players so far, so we cannot count them out. Here we go, smoke going down. They are pushing in, and Olaf is coming in the back for the flank, but Kaylee turns around and dispatches him like nothing. And there's two players left still, but 13 health. What is he gonna do? Yeah, so I'm gonna take him down, and there you go. F uh, 15 to eight, and Team Global, they are getting rounds, but there's just one more, and they're done. It's one round where Happy is just saying, I don't want to wait anymore, and he said it's just going to do a hat trick or something. So he's even having an AK in this round because he's having so much more money than his teammates that it's just a possibility for, a possibility for him to buy it because it's not going to affect the economy. But a great grenade Whoa. taking three guys down to half HP here. So not a great start from LDLC, and this should possibly be another round from Team Global. But I'm very curious to see what Happy can accomplish with this AK in uh, full buy armor and Ke uh, Kevlar and helmet there. And look at this, Lizzie pushed right up there, gets taken down. And just Maniac, he remains with not a hope in hell. And covering the situation. And another round for Team Global. They are six away from the overtime. It's gonna be the hardest six rounds ever for them against a team like LDLC. It's gonna be very difficult. Uh, yeah, they need. They cannot just play stereotypically in all the rounds. They need to also take initiatives and like go for map control, as you say. Like they need to take chances also. But yeah, they cannot be too big either because if they just do one big mistake one time, the game is going to be GG. So it's all about finding the right time to do it. And it seems like one guy is very aggressive in the middle, and all of is most likely going to flash for him at any time. So just wait for it. Here. It's a nice crossfire. One of the guys is holding underpass, and the other guy is holding top middle. And they're just gaining a lot of information by this because no one is anywhere anywhere near, so we're slowly gonna stack towards different bomb sites, but we have two guys who's very aggressive in A and it's kind of this fake again because the bomb is coming towards B. And Cyber's gonna have to hold that all alone. And he's not gonna be able oh. to do that. Yeah, Cyber without any kills on the board there, that's huge. LDLC get a free entry into the bomb site and a free plant. And we have a great flank up in the middle here. Happy's gonna get one. And Kaylee with another one, and this round is looking to be maybe game over from Team Global here. Two and three situation coming in, Olaf and Trist both having an open hand. And Happy is going to get another one. Now let's all up to Olaf. It's all up to Olaf indeed. CZ kill two left, but Maniac takes him out. That's 16 to 9, and LDLC are going to be able to carry on through with another stellar victory. That was in such dominant fashion. Some of those rounds, the, s the starting half was just... Crazy. In a, no words for that. Like heavy initiating the whole game with that four-man kill.
yeah. where he didn't even look at like one of them. Like it was just immense play by him and great work with that silence USP. And then we have the round after after a hat trick, and then Kaylee with those triple no scopes. <laughs> Yeah, the four man. That was that was sick. Yeah. That, again, so much highlight material. I can't wait to see yeah. the next highlight video. What an insane game. LDLC, they are just well and truly right at, up there on yeah. the rankings now. They're just right at the top. For sure. So they are looking like they're going to be the ones to make the finals already with they such performances yeah. and, and the points and everything. The next match is going to be Titan and Fnatic. So that's, that is a, a cracking match as well. It's a very cracking match. It's most likely... At least for me, I just think that it's a game of the day because Titans just changed the player, and normally you yes. like put them very high on the list. And Fnatic has been kind of downhill since Dreamhack uh, winter, so it's like, who's gonna win this game? I still believe that Titan is kind of the the superior favorites in this one, but Fnatic can show up and uh, and destroy Titans. It's gonna be pretty much up to JW. We saw him yesterday, and he was very strong yesterday, but it wasn't enough yesterday. So the question is, is it gonna be today? Certainly. So it's time for another break. And I just want to thank, of course, eGaming Bets and Twitch TV for supporting us here and supporting the the uh, tournament that we're running or the league that we're running, rather. Also, remember to check out the platform, the faceit.com platform as well, to go find some pickup games on 128 Tick servers. I mean, come on, 128 Tick, it speaks for itself. Nice. But first, we have actually a highlight. highlight clip from week one of the Spring League. So enjoy. <laughs> 